Hello everyone and welcome back to the Normal Bobber channel. My name is Miguel and if you do follow this channel you know that I don't make vlogs very often but this has been a highly requested video over the past few years. A lot of people want to see what the shop is like. So at the end of this previous lockdown I went down for the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday when we reopened and cut her. So I took my camera and kind of documented the trip. And I only got to do a little bit of filming because we were so busy in the day that I didn't get to film much of us actually working. But I did film a little bit of a video showing around the shop and what's in the shop, basically. I mean, it's not very exciting. I'm giving you a pre-warning that it's not the most thrilling video that you're ever going to see. But for those of you who want to see what the shop is like, uh, where it's located, what the setup's like, then continue watching this video and I will see you at the end. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my shop in London. Uh, so today it was the first day back after our third lockdown. Uh, it was interesting, it was interesting and I'm tired. And I only started a bit later because I was interviewing a new potential new staff member. And uh, I was up at 6 a.m. So for a lot of people who don't know this, that I actually live in Liverpool, which is in the UK and my shop is in london the reason being for that is that i lived in london for around eight or nine years started the shop ended up moving home but i still come down here to cut so a lot of people were always messaging and saying no oh, show us the shop give us a tour there's not much of a tour to be given to be honest because it's only one room and then the staff room at the back uh but i'll just give you a little bit of a history rundown of the shop so i originally started this brand this shop in a small pop-up down the road which was in the shave video where i'm giving the guy a shave uh, like a shave tutorial called the perfect not the perfect barber shave there's only one perfect barber shave but the, i can't remember what it's called actually so you have to go look it up and that's the one where I said I don't have any running water. And the reason being was that it was in an antique um, night market stall type thing. So I was cutting there Saturdays and Sundays when I got back from my first trip around the world. Ended up moving from there into our first location uh, that had four chairs. It was, a, it was just a complete like thrown together shop. We spent a, only a few thousand on it for six weeks did all the work ourselves me and the old manager Liam and then I eventually went over and opened the shop in Berlin and then about four or five months after Berlin opened the landlord from the old shop messaged me and said we've got three months to leave so quite quickly I moved into this store which is where we are now and we're not on a main street uh, which is it's not ideal for a barber shop but because we had a clientele back then, I mean, we do still have a clientele, uh, it just seemed like the obvious choice to, to move uh, into, into like, an, uh, like a secondary location, I like to call it. It's not exactly cheaper rent, but it's a big space and it was kind of working out well with what we had in mind uh, in terms of style because the London, no, sorry, the Berlin store has like bare brick had floorboards in here so I knew I could paint them and then yeah I just wanted a big open space because the last space was quite claustrophobic and there was a kitchen downstairs so it smelled sometimes um, so a lot of people always come into this shop or, or see the videos of this shop on my YouTube and say oh what type of shop is that it looks really unfinished and like the reason being is that it's all plywood so the plywood finish goes along nicely with the whole nomad theme like shipping crates and travel and stuff like that and it's what we have in the berlin store so that we took that concept from that store and then eventually put it into this store and i'll show you a little bit of the shop so as you can see this is where we have our little uh drinks area 
we usually have coffee and tea and stuff there but since covid we were told that we're not allowed to give anything else apart from like disposable containers we had this bench made which people come and sit but not there no sitting here please and then underneath we have storage and then we have six sections in this shop as you can see here uh, we have like the tilting sink like you see in my studio we have the Takara Belmont Apollo 2s which are quite expensive if you know about barber chairs these go for about two thousand pound each so they're about two and a half thousand dollars I guess so yeah this is where all the guys work we have our products that we sell we have our own brand and then we have all photography for my travels so them pictures haven't been changed for a while so I'll, I should probably change them soon uh, yeah and then on this side you have more pictures of me cutting hair just general travel pictures and you have the little tv which we usually are playing something or other little barbershop sign this is kind of taken it even though it looks super crap honestly uh, it takes inspiration from the berlin shop where we had the concept of first to put all light boxes with the uh, street signs from around the world and i, I kind of like it it works now uh, the one thing we do have here that's better than Berlin is aircon, thank god. Uh, a lot of people always ask about these lights because I have these in my Berlin store and in my work studio. <coughs> and it's, um, they're actually salvaged from a factory in Poland. So they're pretty cool. Then you come down here and we have our product shelves. We have <coughs> our statement grooming goods, which I am a co-creator of, if you haven't seen on my social media. And again we have the nomad stuff and here you have the reception where you do your reception in these things um, you have your screen to protect people from COVID <laughs> and then you have your gel sanitizer and stuff so since COVID everyone who comes in they check themselves into the track and trace you come in they get a mask, they sanitize, walk over, they wait or whatever, then they come in and yeah, literally everyone who comes into the shop has to wear a mask, which is a bit annoying because it's really difficult to cut someone's hair while they've got a mask on. Then you've also got a mask on, so like understanding people is not so great. And a lot of people have asked the question about why is it so noisy here why is it so noisy uh from the videos i'm actually in this chair getting a shave off the manager here eleni um you've probably seen her you've seen me get the shave or the haircut or the facial and face massage i'm in this chair and the reason being it's so noisy one there's a street there so sorry about that two our glass frontage i think is single glazed so it's not the thickest glass and three the reason why it's so noisy at that time is because there is a pub or a bar wherever you are in the world whatever you want to call it across the road about 20 meters from here it's currently closed i think uh, but usually when when it's not closed it's very loud so that's the reason why it's so noisy and it's just generally a noisy street if you have a moped or a scooter or car or whatever drive past it gets noisy quite quickly uh, so yeah I didn't get much of a chance to do in any type of vlogging today um, I did the little intro and note on the way into London but I was pretty tired this morning and I've been jam-packed all day but yeah this is the store there's no point showing you the back because it's it's a staff room with not much to see unless you like unless you're really into water heaters and things like that I know some people are these days so I'll probably film a little bit tomorrow. Get a bit of the guy's personality. Because he don't really have a personality. I'm the, I'm the one with personality. Um, yeah, but it's been jam-packed. Fully booked. Five of us. We have a guest barber as well. So he's filling in the gaps. We've got a couple of the guys from this shop are leaving in like the next month or so. So I'm currently interviewing people. So that's happening this week too. So it's, yeah, it's all go this week. The joys of having a business which yeah during this time it's not been so great it's it's hard enough having a business that you don't live next to 
and you're not working full time, but it's hard enough when you've got a global pandemic and you know, rent needs to be paid, staff need to be paid, staff are leaving, customers need to be looked after. So having a business is not easy and for anyone who thinks that opening a barbershop is a way to make easy money, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. You're gonna be so like you're gonna be so disappointed. It's unreal. So if you wanna earn good money as a barber, just be a barber. Just be a barber. It's the secret. Right, so I'm done for today. I'm going home. I'm going to the hotel. Actually, I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning, see Mr. Kevin Lutchman, who is a fantastic hairdresser slash barber. And yeah, let's go. Tired, very tired. Currently backstage at Muscle Works, Muscle Works London. About to do 100 pull ups in one go. S95. Mr. Well, is Mr. Worldwide, Kevin is Mr. Backstage. Mr. Oh. And he was the men's hairdresser of the year 1994. 92, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do, just gonna do a little bit of a workout today. Back and bicep. Americano. I don't like too much milk. Well, there's one thing I've always said about Kevin, and he, you know, he's out there. He's a risky guy, so I'm not surprised I, I, I he's like getting that. I like taking risks. I'm a risk taker. Is there anyone who are thinking about getting into barbering? What would you say? Apart from don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. no. <laughs> I'd say. Ask yourself the question: Why do? Start with the why. Start with the why. Once you find out the why, then you find out why. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished up day two. Didn't get any footage because we were back to back all day. Super stressful and I'm super tired. So I'm gonna home. Hopefully I'll get, <laughs> hopefully I'll get footage tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll show you a bit more of the shop where I'm actually working. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it was just a small basic video showing you the London shop. Uh, I can do one in the Berlin shop if you want to. Um, and yeah, just kind of showing you what it's like, why it's noisy, because a lot of people commented that on a couple of the videos where I'm getting a shave. Uh, in fact, a lot of people commented it. So yeah, that's the history and rundown of the shop in Normal Bobble London. And if you are in London or you didn't know that we had a shop in London, we have a shop and it is on Brick Lane in Shoreditch, right in the heart of like the hipster area in, in London. So if you are in an area or you come to London, make sure you go online and book in and we will see you soon. So if you are not a subscriber to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell, because if you don't get notified when my videos get uploaded, I fall down the list of the channels that you should be watching and you should be watching this channel so yeah uh thank you very much for watching this video if you're stuck here till the end and i will catch you soon <laughs>